From our previous videos, we said that the process of placing a common factor of two or more terms outside the bracket is what we call factorization. So in this video, we are going to look more into factorization of algebraic expressions. But before we go into what, uh, factorization, we need to understand what exactly is a factor. Now, a factor of a number is just, these are like two numbers, with with which you will multiply and you are able to get that number. For example, let's consider a number like 30. If we had to ask ourselves what are the factors of 30, these are the numbers which when you multiply them, they are supposed to give you 30. For example here, 2 times 15 is 30, 3 times 10 is 30, 5 times 6 is also 30. So it simply means that the factors of 30 are 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, and 15 as stipulated in that set. So these are the factors of 30. You are expected to have knowledge on how to get the highest common factor of any two numbers. For example, we have factors of 30 here, which are 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, and 15. All these are factors of 30. Then also, these are factors of 40. These are numbers that you multiply and you're able to get 40. 2 times 20 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. 5 times 8 is 40. So 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, and 20 are also are factors of 40. So now the highest common factor, when you analyze these factors and these factors, you realize that the highest common factor of 30 and 40 is 10. These are the highest. So the highest common factor between 10 and 40 is 10. So as we are trying to make factor, uh, as we explore factorization of algebraic expressions, we must be well conversant with how to find the highest common factor between two numbers. So when, factor, when we are factorizing algebraic expression, we shall be looking for the highest common factor between two terms. Looking at this, for example, this algebraic expression, 2x plus 2y. 2x plus 2y, if you look at 2x and then you look at 2y, the highest common factor between here, the, or the common factor between, is 2. So you put 2 outside the brackets. When you put 2 outside the brackets, so you divide. 2x divided by 2, what do you get? 2x divided by 2 is supposed to give us x. Then 2a, 2y divided by 2 is y. So here, this is what we call factorization. Factorization is simply placing the common factor of two or more terms outside the brackets. So here we have factorized this algebraic expression. Let's go on to this one. Here we have 4y and then 20z. Now between 4y and 20z, which is the common factor? The highest. So if you look at 20 and 4, the highest common factor between 20 and 4 is actually 4. So you put 4 outside the brackets. In 2, so now you divide. 4y divided by 4 to get the, what is now in the brackets, these terms. So 4y divided by 4, here you remain with y. Then, then uh, plus uh, 20 divided by 4, you remain with 5. So it's going to become y plus 5z. Here we have factorized this expression. Now it is supposed to be in such a way that when you put this factor outside the brackets and you put certain terms inside the brackets, if I am to open these brackets, I'm supposed to be getting back to this expression. If you realize here, if I open brackets here like we have been doing in our previous video, 4 times y gives me 4y. Then 4 times 5z gives me 20z. Likewise here, 2 times x gives me 2x. Then 2 times y gives me 2y. So do you realize that what we have been doing in our previous video, which is opening the brackets, involved us multiplying the factor outside the brackets by the terms inside the brackets. So we're multiplying the factor outside the brackets by the terms inside to get this expression. And now we are doing the reverse. When we are factorizing, we are doing the reverse of opening brackets. In factorization, instead we are going to identify the highest common factor. And then after identifying the highest common factor, then we shall divide it by the terms so that we are in, by dividing we are able to get the terms that are inside the brackets we'll go ahead and start doing some worked examples 
Let's factorize this completely. We have 3x plus 18. The common factor here, the highest common factor here is 3. So you put 3 outside the brackets into. Now 3x divided by 3, you get x. Then 18 divided by 3, you get 6. So it's plus 6. There we have factorized. We come to this, 5a minus 30. What's the common factor here? The common factor is 5. So we put 5 outside the brackets. 5a divided by 5, we have a. Then here we have negative 30. So it's negative 30 divided by 5. Remember, a negative divided by a positive, you get your answer as a negative. So negative 30 divided by 5, you end up with negative 6. So this is the answer. Please notice that the answer you get is supposed to be in such a way that when you open brackets, it's giving you the same figure. For example, here 5 times a is 5a. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Likewise here, 3 times x is 3x, then 3 times 6 is 18. We continue with our worked examples. We have here 6ab plus 3a squared b. If you look at these two terms, the common factor here is 3ab. So you put 3ab outside the brackets into. Now 6ab divided by 3ab, we are going to end up with 2. Because if you get 6ab divided by 3ab, this goes with that by 3 once by 3 2, so it's going to be 2. Then here we have 3a squared b, divide that by 3ab, this goes with that, this a cancels with one of those a's, then three, you remain with a. So this is going to be 2 plus a, and this is the answer. We factorize that expression up. Then we come to this one. The common factor, if you look through 2x and then 8xy, is going to be 2x. So you put 2x outside the brackets into 2x divided by 2x is going to give us 1 minus 8xy divided by 2 is going to give us 4y. We have factorized. This brings us to the end of this video. Up next is more of this. I urge you to stay tuned in. For more videos, please remember to subscribe to this channel. This is Arnold Rangakuramia on behalf of Kisembo Academy.